Hey, 11, sol solving linear equations here. Linear because there is no x squared or any power of x other than sort of to the 1 here, or we could say this is x to the 0 if you want to be tricky. But anyway, that's all. I've got x's and I've got constants. To solve it, we want to find out what the value of x is. Right? We can do that because I've got an equation here. I've, I've got an expression with something on either side of the equal sign. So let's get straight into it. Make sure, a reminder, make sure when you are doing these things, whenever you are dealing with equations, that you need to make the same change to the left and the right hand side. Okay, make the same change to both sides, you'll be fine. So over here, I'm gonna keep my equal signs lined up. I'm gonna subtract 4x from both sides, or if you like, move that 4x over here. I'm going to subtract five from both sides so that I get 6x minus 4x equals negative nine minus five, so two x negative 14, and x is negative seven. Great thing about these is they are easy to check, right? They Sometimes they're hard to solve. They're really easy to check. Chuck negative seven back into here. What do we get? Negative 42 plus five, uh, negative 37, yeah. Or we have mm, negative 28 minus another nine, negative 37. There we go, left-hand side equals right-hand side. We can check those. This is pretty routine. I would hope, pretty routine. Next up then, algebraic fractions. Wonderful, we looked at these the other day. So what I'm gonna do, I don't like to deal with fractions. If I can avoid it, I'm gonna multiply both sides by four x minus seven. Right, so that gives me four x minus seven times four minus seven x. Right, and that's gonna cancel over. 4x minus 7, right, so that they cancel out, you see? Don't have my fraction anymore. And I get oh, 1 times 4x minus 7. Can I just say 4x minus 7? Okay, so 4 minus 7x equals 4x minus 7. I am going to, hmm, let's subtract 4x from both sides and subtract 4 from both sides. That tells me I've got negative 11x equals negative 11 and x equals 1. Yep x equals 1. All good? Would that be true? 4 minus 7 is minus 3 over 4 minus 7 minus 3, right? That equals 1. All good? Not the neatest working in the world, but anyway, that's where we get. Changing the subject of the formula is not really that dissimilar an operation. All this means, though, is we, might, we won't get a constant for an answer, right? I'm going to solve it with relation to whatever it tells me, make the subject I want x to be the subject, then I solve it for x. The difference is my answer isn't going to be a constant, like 1 or negative 7 or something. My answer is going to have some pronumerals in it. All right, so imagine that was a constant. And I solve this. Well, I kind of would like to swap the left and right hand sides over here. I'm going to say, you see what I'm going to do? 4x minus 3 equals y. That would be equally true, wouldn't it? Equals y. It just means that I've got a positive coefficient here of x, which, which is kind of nice. I could also say 4x equals y plus 3 and x equals y plus 3 all over 4. You could say a quarter of y plus 3 quarters. But there we go, that's nice. Is that okay? Same thing, both sides. x equals, yeah, it's, it's not as satisfactory an answer as we've got when we're solving, right? But if I knew what y was, if I knew what y were, then I would be able to get an answer out of that make x the subject of this one. Now this is going to be a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to get here is, I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 2. Right. I'm going to work over here, I've got a bit more space, therefore I get y outside of x plus 2 equals x plus 1. So let's expand this and I get xy plus 2y equals x plus 1. Now I'm going to say, therefore, uh, x, y minus x equals 1 minus 2y. Is that okay? Brought the x over, subtracted 2y from both sides. Now I'm going to factorize this a little bit. I'm going to say x outside of y minus 1 equals 1 minus 2y. Now I divide by the y minus 1 and I get x equals 1 minus 2y over y minus 1. Righto, x is now the subject. There's no x's anywhere else. It has coefficient of 1, right? It's not 3x or something, or x over 4. It's not x squared, 
Okay, x is the subject of that equation. Wonderful. Okay, check it out. I'll see you in class.